plays games with Steve. I feel like we've been in a rock tunnel one million years. Uh, okay. We're getting a little... Uh, a little sweaty on the party here. What's but up? A, but a conversation topic I thought of. Um, okay. Uh, I, I don't know if necessarily I should ask which do you think you are or or what people have said you are. But okay. If you were a Pokemon type, what Pokemon type? Ah, uh, um, I th I usually think of myself as like fire, um, mainly because of I feel like fire is very direct, very. Mm -hmm. But um, I think people have said. No, I think pretty much, people pretty much go fire, like fire type. Hmm. Um, for you, though, I think people have said like ground, steel. Um, I used to get, I think kind of back when like it was kind of like maybe like a Twitter thing where mm -hmm. it's like, tell me what Pokemon type I am. Yeah. And when a lot of people said fighting, I was very disappointed. Mm, I that's could, not bad, I think. But. I just, well... <sighs> Because <laughs> I'm like the most easygoing. Ah, you, it's because to be able to see like, oh, big guy, oh, you're a fighter. And I'm like, <laughs> that's in it, it's it, it just it felt very surface level. It's Do you like, have one that you think fits you best? Um, that's the thing. I I think I'm I'm, I'm the worst judgment of these. Like I feel like I I'd, I'd rather someone else tell me. But Do you feel like ground doesn't fit? Uh, why would you? I'm curious why you say ground. You're you're steadfast. You're I don't know reliable. Mm -hmm. You're like I don't know like mm -hmm. uh, uh, this is a pun, but grounded, right? Yeah. You know, you're like no, I was always gonna say I'm like is it like it almost feels like grounded is the word to describe. Yeah, I could get behind that. I mean, you know, Don Fan is my favorite Pokemon mm -hmm. ground type. Um, like it's not one of my favorite types in the game. I don't know if I even have a favorite type to be honest, but mm -hmm. that I. I like that description. Um, do you remember when I was randomly assigning people Pokemon gym leader types for my like fictional league mm -hmm. on Twitter? Do you remember who you ended up being? Uh, yes, but I think I also because I picked the type. Who are you? I picked a dark type. Ah, uh, do, do you think you're as a as a dark a bad? No, uh, you're like a bad boy. I, I I remember. I think we. As I as I recall, when we did that, it was kind of just like if you. Uh, I thought the prompt was more like if you could be a gym leader. Sure. What was what would be your type be? What would be your three poke? You have three Pokemon. Yeah, issues. right. I picked dark because I I do like a lot of dark type Pokemon. Mm -hmm. I said also there's not that many dark type gym leaders. Sure. And I think my th oh, what were my three? Because yeah, some of my favorite Pokemon are dark. Wasn't one uh what Scrafty or Scrafty? Or, yeah. Crocodile. Yeah, yeah. And I forget what the third was. Um, and I bet you could pull it, up, probably pull it up. But mm, but I'm playing. God, I love Gen Five so much. <laughs> Gen Five is great. I love Gen Five. It's the still... back to back years of of Heart Gold Soul Silver and then Black and White. Mwah. That's it's peak Pokemon to me, baby. As Pokemon. far as I know, I think that's still the gen that Jay still has not played. I'm like, Jay, you gotta... And considering he's a New York... Like, I know, you're a New Yorker! Uh, I'm walking here! I was like, I had, I had so much pride in that that game was like kind of based off of New York. Um, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh god. When you go to what was a was a Castella City was that the, was that the name of the big city? Probably in there? I don't remember the name. Just go over that fucking bridge. The 3D, the bridge mm, it's really, yeah. ah, it's I. Okay, Steve. I knew. Did I hold on? I'm getting lost. Uh, I need to remember where I came in from because because of conversation and <laughs> random battles. I'm. Did I come out from here? I think so, right? Yeah. I came in, I went in here, came out this way. Is that okay. what happened? And you fought her? You fought yeah, him. I fought her. Fought okay, okay, okay. So then I've done everything here, I believe, and I yes. have to go up here. Okay, got it. Sorry, I am also, I'm pulling this up because I'm kind of glad I, like, saved this. What but did you save? But I think uh, uh, a friend of mine made me a Pokemon team. I, they, like, they were like, hey, friends, reply to this tweet, and I'll, like, tell you what your Pokemon team is. Uh, what I think your Pokemon team is. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad <laughs> I have this saved on my, my Google Drive because it's so easy to access. But 
I remember, I think David did that for a bunch of us, I remember. Because he's really thoughtful about that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I, I think he did. But, um... Oh god, I forgot the name of this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember the, the name of... And I love this one too, but... Uh, the Pokemon? Yeah, and then... Probably not enough. <laughs> it's, it's a newer one, so I forget their name. Well... I just don't want to get it wrong. That's the thing. I don't want uh, to... Totally changing the subject. Not totally changing the subject, but... Do you have a Game Boy Advance? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, I think what I actually want to do is trade that Kadabra we have into Alakazam. Not a bad idea. I have a link cable. Oh, you have a link. Okay, I have. Because I'll say, I'm like that 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 adapter pack you could plug in the back of it. That, those I don't. That's in a junk drawer somewhere in New York. So. Do you have a Pokemon game? Yes, I do. Which one? Fire Red. Okay. Uh, I next next <laughs> time I see you, bring. <laughs> to be like, all right, live on recording. Go, go. Oh yeah, go now. Uh, you're just gonna live uh, record as you drive. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, no. We're, we're gonna split screen it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to evolve stuff. Yeah. Uh, God, th th this was the way back in the day. I um, know. Here's here's the team of six that uh, you were assigned. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Crab Brawler. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, Incineroar. Yeah. Primate. Mm-hmm. Uh, Obama Snow? Yep, okay. Uh, Steelix? Mm-hmm. Crocodile. Yeah, no, that all, that all, uh, that all fits. Mm-hmm. I mean, I also think probably why fighting was assigned to you just because of wrestling, right? Yeah, I was, I, I was a much bigger wrestling fan than I, well, I feel, I, the, the wrestling fan in me will never die, it's just, uh, it, it, it's just subsided a bit. Sure. I've, uh, I, I've... Really? You could have fooled me on the Sing One episodes. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's because, like, you know how, like, some people just, like, have extensive knowledge of, like, Marvel comics? Yeah. For you, it's Professional wrestling is, like, my Marvel comics mm -hmm. encyclopedia knowledge. Sure, sure, sure. Like, I could, like... I have, like, like... You know, if you, like... <laughs> when you're asking me, like, give me a date, you know, and I could probably tell you, like, what... Like, I'll tell you the last movie I watched, and... Yeah. You know, like Latin, like where I was. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could probably tell you what was going on in the in the world of wrestling at that point. Cool. I'm not gonna take you. Up I know, on that. but I'm just saying. No, like, no, I will. Hey, actually, I can pick a any year. Um, I would say I, I wouldn't say like a uh, like an exact date, but give me like a month and a year. So, I would, how far back can I go? I would say let's start. Even though I wasn't watching until late '98. Uh, I'd say anywhere between 1998 and where would I say I was like falling off a bit? Um, 2008. So 1998 to 2008. Yeah. All right. I'm only gonna ask this once and give me the TLDR. 2003 in July. Okay, 2003 in July. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that was the month of the first SmackDown brand exclusive pay-per-view, Vengeance. Mm. Uh, the poster is, uh, The Undertaker kind of, like, punching towards the camera. It's in grayscale. Oh, my God. Uh, the okay. main event was a triple threat between, uh, Brock Lesnar, Big Show, and Kurt Angle for the WWE title. Kurt Angle won. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, okay. That's like me and Peter Pan, huh? Yes. I mean, I like it, it used to be so easy, but then like, yeah, like, like I said, like I kind of, I've always stuck with it, but then I wasn't watching like every show. So mm -hmm. like, that's why I gave you 2008 because then. Sure. Yeah, but. Um. Yeah. Well, okay. Let me let me do you one then. Uh, I feel like I could do it with One Piece now, at least. At least be like, like it's I, like what was going on in this in the, in the story like this year? Really? Know? Oh wait, that I don't year. think I, I don't think I could do months yet. I but. see, I see. I mean, that year's still pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll okay, I'll, I'll toss one to you then. I've done. I've actually did this for your friend uh, when uh, we were. Oh wait, were you? Maybe you weren't in the car. What were you there when Alex like? Uh, was like, hey, uh, or I was like, you know, you can, no, maybe, there might have been when, 
Dave and I were giving them a ride. Were you, do you recall this? Where I was oh, like, yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was, where, was I, were, we, were you there when I was like, hey, pick a scene? Oh, from Peter Pan? No, I wasn't there for that. Ah, was yeah, okay. Dave yeah. gave them a ride home. So, yeah, uh, uh, One Piece podcast host, uh, Alex, uh, Kazanas? 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 Kazanas, yeah. Kazanas. You know what's so funny is, it's like, you ever, when you have to say someone's last name for the first time out loud, be oh. like, be like, I don't know how to say it. I'm I'm worse because I'm like I totally know this person's name, but now I'm afraid to say it because what if I get it wrong? Exactly, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, like for like I like I know Alex Kazanis, like you know yeah. you know yeah, and I'm like, but I don't I've never I think, said like, the Kazanis, last Kazanis Kazanis, you know it's Greek, so I think I would probably say Kazanis. Probably... Oh, it's Kazanis. I would say so. I, don't know. I thought you just I, think also... was, I thought you just said it was Kazanis. It's like one of those things. I'm like, eh, hey, either or is in the ballpark, I guess. I think maybe he might have a differing opinion maybe on that. Maybe so. Yeah, that's like if someone called me Stefan. I'm like, I'm going to call you. Yeah, because, well, I mean, it should be S-T-E-V-E-N anyway, so. Uh, uh, no, it shouldn't. Uh, but You're anyway. You're going to say that to fucking Stephen Colbert? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go talk to Stephen Col Colbert about it. Or Colbert. St uh, Stefan Colbert. Yeah. Um, so, oh, finally, we're out of here. Um, so, oh, what was I saying? Okay, yeah. Uh, Peter Pan. I can do it. Have you saved in a while? No. Maybe it's a good idea to save. Not that I'm worried. Yeah. Uh, no, because if I, I save and the like foot, if I save and the saved. footage fails, then that fucks us. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so uh, yeah. you're in the car with Alex Kazanis. Kazanis, and uh, yeah, I think it just came up. I think he brought it up, like my knowledge. He's of a it. huge Peter Pan. And so I was like. Pick, pick, it, pick a scene, I'll see if I can do it. Uh, I'll let, I'll offer you the same. Oh, from Peter Pan? Yeah. Any, any, it can be a line, it can be a scene, and I can probably, I'm I feel bad certain. as Peter Pan is, like, kind of, I, I wouldn't say it's my blind spot, but it's one of my, like, it's one of those movies I didn't watch a ton of times. Okay. So, I don't, uh, I wonder if he, Alex picked the same sequence, but, uh. Okay. How about the scene when Peter uh, impersonates Captain Hook and says, uh, bring the princess back to her people? Is that the line? Ah, uh, release the princess back to her people. That part? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then Smee's so like, oh, I see her. Uh, but, but Ken, those are the orders, Mr. Smee. That part? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then Speed goes, Hi, hi, sir. Uh, oh, God, I can describe it visually. Peter does, like, a little laugh, and when mm -hmm. he's giggling, and, uh, oh, okay, I'm gonna stop there, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Oh, I could keep going, because <laughs> I'm just... Because, like, Speed comes out in the boat, and he's, like, talking to Tiger Lily, and then Captain Hook goes, I'm just... What do you think you are doing, Mr. Smee? Um... <laughs> Give me back like you said, Captain. Uh, but, um, uh, anyway, I'll stop there. Wasn't there like a tweet was like, when you like quote something, do you say in the exact cadence of like the way it was delivered? Was I, that, I say it in the exact cadence and the exact pitch. Okay, I don't know. The, but why? What, what was, what's the difference between cadence and pitch? Cadence, well, pitch is like the actual like tone yeah. of it, like musically. Mm -hmm. Cadence is like how you say it like the almost more like tempo mm -hmm. yeah why why do you i ask? know i know when uh, like a a, a a less evolved steve when he when he would recite a song for you mm -hmm. he would just talk speak speak it and yeah i i feel like i've kind of i've leveled up since then but mm. I, I i just thought that was a weird question i'm like why wouldn't you do your best mimicry of a of a quote that you're saying when you're quoting it well, I, it's interesting because I, um, I did not know really think about this at all, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but, and I only was knew about this because of comments. But on one of the Peter Pan videos, uh, there was a guy. I don't know his name offhand. Sorry, but he's a YouTube, like pretty. He's like a YouTube channel guy, mm -hmm. and I guess he made a video about perfect pitch. Mm -hmm. um, and he referenced my video, which I didn't know about until people were like, oh, I came here from that video. And I was like, what? What, what, what are they saying? And I guess they were talking about me, and they were like, yeah, the very interesting thing about that video that I don't know if people realize is that, yeah, the pitch of how I'm doing all the sound effects, the, the but especially the lines, is pitch perfect. Which, uh, and then I think one of them said, like, oh, like, do you think it's because he's a voice actor, blah, blah, blah. And it's also, do you also think he's 
conscious of it because of that. And then the other guy was like, I actually think he's, he's, he, if you had not ever brought it up to him, he would have never thought about it. He just has always been doing it that way. And I was watching, I was like, that's true. I've never thought about, oh, I need to do it in perfect pitch. I've always just done it that yeah. way, naturally. But then I asked you and Anne Marie, and you were like, oh, we do that. I was like, okay, maybe it's nothing special. But then I looked at the comments, and people were like, oh, blah, 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 blah. So I guess it's just, hmm. depends on the person. I think some people are not conscious of the pitch. Because cadence is some one thing. Like, you can get the cadence, but like, um, that, those Captain Hook lines I just did. Yeah, like when, like, kind of like when to kind of enunciate certain. But, that, but also the, the pitch or... of it. Yeah. I know it is 100% right. Hmm. Like, if I pull up, uh, I mean, oh god, I could do it, if I could find the scene, I could do it right now, but, uh... I can't, I can't really replicate that singing. I think I definitely, mm, I'm a little more confident. Can you do it with lines, though? Like, what's a, what's a Disney movie that I know that I can confirm or whatever? Not to put you on the spot, yeah. but, like, is there something where you're like, oh, I'm, I, like... I know these lines down pat. All right, my mind says Lion King, but then I'm like trying to think of like what's. Scene. Ooh, but I don't. I don't remember Lion Ooh. King well enough to judge. Um, I, oof. yeah, I, I don't. I, 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 as much as I love them, I don't like. I don't rewatch a lot of Disney movies on a consistent basis. Sure. Enough, and sure. I feel like Lion King is the one where it's like, I don't know. It got to the point, I remember one time just like hanging out in a playground with my friend. By the way, we were like totally way, way past the age of uh, people uh, playing in the playground, but I remember climbing up on a rock uh, structure and my friend, uh, my friend looking back at me climbing up and I just said, Scar! Brother! <laughs> brother! <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's great. Um, um, yeah. Um, oh, that's a very interesting analysis. Yeah, I never really thought about it, and I, I... Well, I think it's all, like, it's, like, you, you, your brain isn't thinking about doing something right, you know, mm. it's like, you're, like, you, it's like, you gotta get to that point where you're not, like, everything just comes naturally, because... Yeah. I don't know, it's like, I, <laughs> my dad is always stressed about me, it's like, you don't hit a home run by trying to hit a home run. Sure, sure. You know. It's like, you don't, you don't... You don't hit a target with an arrow. Like, you don't hit the bullseye of a target with an arrow by trying to hit the bullseye of the target. It's you, you got to get this. You got to get in the state of mind where mm. you're not you're like. It's almost like because look, look at me. I'm like I like as I'm. You can't look at me. Sorry, audience. But like I'm talking right over my hands because I'm a quarter Italian. Sure. But like I'm not thinking about moving every appendage, appendage in my finger. Or like twisting my wrist, mm -hmm. I'm not being like. Then I'm gonna twist my wrist, you know, this way, clockwise, right. counterwise. Right. It's just like you're. You, it's just a state of being. Sure. And sure. that's what you gotta be. And yeah. And I'm sure that just comes naturally to you when you're like altering your voice like that. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Even if I let's say wasn't someone who could manipulate my voice, I think just the way my brain is. Like, cause even even as a kid, I can still I could still remember the exact pitch of things. It's just that now I have the capabilities to like actually sound like Captain Hook if I'm doing a Captain Hook impression. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I guess it was just something that always like the reason why so many songs from cartoons are stuck in my head is just because I don't know, like the the melodies and stuff are just ingrained in me. Mm -hmm. Even things that the normal people would not memorize like i mean you can relate to this because you can remember like jingles and things and commercials oh, yeah. but you're the same friends that visited um for for some reason uh simpsons episode got referenced mm -hmm. and all i said was the first line from like the ending credits I, the, this it was homer at bat and homer yeah. at bat is a very famous episode of the simpsons and sure. it has a special credit song yeah all i did was say the first line from that song and then me and my two other friends are reciting the entire fucking song in my mm. car. And while, uh, yeah, it's like, well, another person in there was completely fucking, you know, awestruck. And then I think Mike was in there saying, like, yeah, this is what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's like, yeah, this is unbearable. Yeah. <laughs> Mike was like, yeah, this is how they are. This yeah. Is, this is what they do. Mm -hmm. Um, 
Ron, why won't you come and rescue me before I get married to Kieran? Um, we got it. Oh, that's like another thing too. Uh, we were driving home from Dave's last weekend and I'm just playing, I wanted to play just like a mix of songs off of YouTube because I wanted to hear, I, I wanted to hear mm, some more anime songs from uh, my personal collection. Sure. And the theme song from the first Ranma movie comes on. Yeah. And that, and just it, this Pavlovian response out of you, yeah. is where you start reciting lines from Viz's trailer for that movie, where yes. it uses that as the backing track. Yes. And then I immediately, you know, retort by also reciting lines from it. It yeah. was, it was, it it was just like, uh, God, we are, so, we are, we are so friends. Yeah, but what's, well, yeah, what's funny is like Dave also has that. Like, <laughs> I brought that up to Dave. He's like, Yeah, I, re I remember that commercial exactly. Because for those of you, so, then it, like, and it's like, I also, I still haven't seen any of Ron. Really, have seen I have any never of Ron seen that Ron. movie in my life. And I haven't either. seen that movie. Yeah, um, but I have seen that trailer so many times, and just, you know, I don't even have to. I don't even have to watch it again. And I just say to you, it's like, then do some. Due to a misunderstanding, I wind up getting kidnapped. kidnapped. Yeah, <laughs> such a <laughs> such an iconic commercial, and the song too. For those of you, if I start singing it, I don't know the words, but it's it's iconic. Yeah, that's the name of the song. I'm gonna buy 78 great balls. Okay. Yeah. 78 great balls. Balls. Oh, is this the past the point of Premier Balls, or would you only get those through Pokeballs, or maybe this is not? It's the... Pokeballs, yeah. No, 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 I mean, oh, oh, but I know, I think in the new games, I think you can actually get them yeah. through, um, right, any Pokeballs. Well. Um, well, we're, we're in Lavender Town. Yeah. Um, well, we're living here in Lavender Town. You know the fe what the feeling is playing Fire Red on this channel? It's like um, when you're on like a road trip on a drive and it's like, you know, it's a long drive, but then you get in a really good conversation and then you're uh -huh. like, oh, we're here. Yeah. It's like you get to the, you get to the spot. And you're like, oh, that, that like, that was, that was an hour. Oh, and we're here now. Well, we're also at the end of the episode. Oh, wow. Well, I guess we'll explore the spooky tower next time. Boogie spooky. Spooky boogie.